One second. One second. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, sorry. 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 We're late. I, I, I was supposed to run this stream this morning, but um, I'm not very good at it because I'm kind of a dog. And so mom was late and I was late and I'm very apologetic to everybody. But um, you on, I, I guess uh, I'm I guess I'm out of here. OK, bye. Come here, Kiki. Good girl. Ah, all right. There we go. Sorry. Kiki, I'm using, I'm throwing my dog under the bus. Was discussing with David throwing people under the bus this morning. He wanted to know, like, who who would next be thrown under the bus if Ron was promoted? Like, you know, like, who, who would, obviously somebody would have, need to become the next Ron. I have no idea who that person is. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that Yon says, eh, eh, all you viewers. So yeah, sorry, we had, we had, uh, Anne had, Anne had medical crap this morning that did not work on time, and so yeah, you know, stuff, stuff, stuff and things, like you do. Um, so yeah, I'm here now though, and I have and I have treats. I have treats. Wait one second, one second. Let me go to treats. All right, this is not a treat. This is this is familiar. This is familiar territory. However, however, printed my first three D thing this this weekend. My first three D thing is is. Twisted Oma, it's just, the, it's just the same old, same old. Sometimes it functions, sometimes it doesn't. You just deal. <laughs> you know when somebody really has a chronic medical condition when they're like, eh, it's the same shit. <laughs> Different day. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, here, I'll show you my thing. I'm going to show you my, my first ever 3D printed thing. Here, 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 here. I, with David's help, of course. But don't look, Reaper. Kernico don't look, or Kernico look. Hold on, let me get the sharpie, sharpie things. It is a dragon bust. It's a crystal dragon bust. You could paint it as um, as an earth. It's meant to be an earth dragon, I think, because they've got like an earth one and a lava one, and you know they've got different ones. But I think they also have a stone one. So I guess this one can be a um, can be a crystal dragon bust. Yeah, isn't it cool? Isn't it cool, Julie? So yeah, there was a, a Kickstarter um, for four dragon busts. I think they threw in an undead one at the end too, but I really like this guy. There's a couple I really like. So he did have some issues. He had a, he had a misprint, so I have to decide whether to re-sculpt this little um, spike here or just to have it be broken. It's the only one that was wrong. And then it had, for some reason, the sculpt had kind of a an issue on the back here. So we were like, well, um, I can just re-sculpt that corner because it just like it kind of had a hole in the sculpt. So, but that's minor. Um, cause it's way down on the base and very easy to, uh, to do. I just blocked in some green work on the bottom part and I'm going to just essentially fill it in tonight and then I'm going to, uh, file it down or, or sand it down. But anyway, and I, I hollow, it's hollow. So, so yeah, so it worked out. Yeah. So, and then I put some gloss sealer on to fill the few 3d texture bits that I could see cause gloss sealer, gloss medium actually from Liquitex. Somebody, somebody, I think Drew Olds turned me on to that. You put a couple layers on and it just fills up, fills in those print lines really well. Um. <clears throat> ah, yeah, we're totally polluting the air. Well, um, don't tell the internet, but I managed to get some of it and hopefully I'm going to get more of it. Hopefully the Amazon won't notice. Um, Kernico, I'm going to start with painting the whole thing in Surf Aqua and then I'm going to go from there. That's my, that was my decision. That was my decision. I couldn't decide whether to start with the base scales being darker or lighter. And I just decided, screw it. I'm going to go aqua. And then I'm just going to go out from there in all directions that I feel like going. Because when you start with a blue, you can go either way, right? I could go down to purples and reds, or I could go up to greens and yellows. I could do anything. Uh, or I could do both. Magic. Uh, so yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's my thing. And then, and then I also put a base on my quick and dirty basing. Um, so this is the lava, I think uh, Jazion mentioned it on my Patreon, but it's uh, Liquitex gel medium texture, textured gel, um, and it's called lava, black lava, and it's pumice, it's black pumice, but you can see I sculpted some shapes into it, 
So that'll let me build up some green work on the top of it. And it's also going to give it kind of a gritty groundwork. And if I want to fill in the texture, because Dave is like, that texture is too coarse. I'm like, just fill it in with a layer of glue and you're done. Um, but anyway, and I use some plants. And the great thing about texture paste is that you can build it up in a big glob and you can press plant life down into it. So by using these mosses and just pressing them into the goop, I managed to make them lower to the... Um, to like flush with the character. I put a glob of green stuff. You can see the green stuff there right under that uh, stump because I wanted her to be up higher because I was going to use this to make her higher. Um, and then I'm going to sculpt some roots and things like that. Yeah, I like it. Um, it is it is a lot of texture. Like it's a rough, it's a coarse texture, but that's not a bad thing. Sometimes you want that on a model. So I'm going to see if it's a little too much for this model, but I don't think it's going to be. I might even do a little water pool. Uh, I haven't decided. But <clears throat> that was what I did last night, or this weekend and last night. So I'm all ready to start my, my muscle-bound warrior woman, um, which is a really, this is an awesome model. Like, look at the musculature here. Like, Christine knows her stuff. It's a great model. Great model. It's the kind of model that Ron would never accept because he wouldn't uh, accept a sculpt that could kick his butt. I'm going to just say it. <laughs> ah, but he's, you know, if he's a leg man, he should like this model. But, uh, <clears throat> but just saying. This is not a bugbear. This is actually an elf. She's part of their elven warband. She is an elf barbarian berserker type. It is not a, it is not a bugbear. It's actually, um, you can see that it has a human face. I am painting it human. I am painting it, in fact, like me, because I am going to, like, use it as inspiration for my CrossFit. So it is, it is Anne if Anne was ripped. It is not a bugbear. But yeah, it's part of the uh, her elven um, adventure thing. Ah! No, she's got um, blades, Pendrake. They're blades. They're hand blades. Punch, punch dagger slash um, back swept dagger. So you can punch with them and do a lot of damage, or you, and you can slice. Yeah, or you missaw saw that one and saw the long ears and thought it was a bugbear. I mean, it could have been either. But yeah, it's it's an L. Oh, did you see the yeah mini goals? Exactly, exactly, Derek. This is this is what I I have always wanted to be ripped. You guys probably don't know that, but since since I was like in college, like that has been my thing. Like I used to work out in college. I used to lift weights, um, <clears throat> but. Uh, but yeah, then, then life happened and pulled me away from in all different directions. And, you know, I got really out of shape and sad. And then I got back in shape and now I'm not so sad. And I'm like, you know what? I could drop another 20 pounds and get ripped. That's where I am in my head. Well, we'll see if it stays in my head or if it becomes reality. All right, let's get out some uh, colors while we chat. I need some ruddy leather. And I had David order me ruddy, more ruddy leather. And I don't know where I stuffed it. It's got to be around here somewhere. I had him order me a whole nother bottle. Yeah, maybe it's a bugbear. Or maybe they think it's a bugbear. I don't care. For me, it's an elf. It's a tough elf chick. No, I never paint sci-fi. Almost never. You know that. No, Slayer, I'm putting her in the woods. Just like she's, just like I've got her. I like, I like natural world. And she is an elf. So I'm going to put her there. But I'm totally painting her skin tone and hair color like me. We can do this, folks. We can do this. <laughs> you can do that, Derek. I just want to paint the mini. <laughs> you know, it seems like every time I get a big conversion idea, I run out of oomph on it and I never actually start painting it. Or I get, dis get disappointed with my sculpting and I don't paint it. Or I'm like, or it's both. And I need to fix the sculpting, and I know I can, but it would take too much energy, and I'm out of oomph. So. Oh, no, yeah, I've got kind of a proto six-pack going on in Kroniko. Don't worry, you can get it back. Like, abdominals don't require coordination. <laughs> you can't do it! If I can do it, you can too! I'm going to say that. Uh, oh, sentimental! Sentimental's on here. He's uh, uh, he's um, 
Yeah, the one I have is from Midnight Minis, or, or Moonlight Minis, or whatever Minis, MM. <laughs> Moonlight Miniatures, Moon Glooms. And uh, the other one, Sentimental is actually an old friend of mine from Paint Club at Reaper, who started their own um, their own thing. Like, learn to 3D sculpt, and while I, I, while I knew them, and uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. Yep. Correct. Yeah, they stopped by at ReaperCon to say hi, and they're actually moving um, with their partner to England, uh, which is cool. But hopefully, they will still uh, still pop on here from time to time. But yeah, they their journey has been pretty cool, and it's been fun to watch them 